used to shame in their last in this afternoon session peg line against Wukun Lin. So we're off to the races. Welcome in the booth, JJ. Difficult format. So let's talk a little bit about that round robin. Six days of play, 16 players, 50 matches. It's it's hard to get in the deep concentration. I feel. Yeah, I think the thing is, is what you just touched on is don't try to overdo it. So don't press early. You got to play a lot of pool. You know, all the games are worth something. Each match worth something. But uh, you could have some ups and downs with so many matches played. Thank you. First track, so sad to break. Opening break for Seoya. Comes fresh from her victory in the Alpha Diamond Open in Vegas. Yeah, interesting. She broke head on there on the one ball. You won't see much of that this week. Pretty well. Yeah, it was a good hit, but. This is not what you want to do in this breaking format. And you will get some action on the nine that way, and a real nice shot there to start. Natural path on the cue ball, hitting that gap between the three and seven. Jason, you got to put him as a favorite, but definitely a favorite. Getting to play a match already. Yeah, that's it. If you get to play back to back matches. They can really help you to start start out good on day one. And it's a long haul, you know, six days of round robin play, but still a good start will always help. So many Jason Shaw fans out there, and I'm certainly one of them. But you're watching, he's missing about a foot of cue stick <laughs> than what you're used to seeing. He's gone back to standard length cue. Did that a few months ago. Got away from it, went back to the long queue during the Moscone and a few events. Here early in 2023, playing with uh, what looks like a 58 inch queue. Yeah, he spent time with Stephen Feeney, that's the Mr. Side Right, famous in the snooker circuit. He flew in early, went to Sheffield, worked in Ding Wee's Academy for three days with Feeney, and there was work on the snooker table. I'm sure Feeney has had some influence in Eagle Eye taking that extension off. Run for the side here at the rails. It looks pretty natural. This is going to get awkward. Take a cut shot on the eight, most likely from the side pocket. He's standing in here. Nice. It did nice. When it's crunch time, I think nine out of ten players would play three rails would follow and then take the cut on the eight. This was a nice shot to play. And that may be a shot sure looking the more towards the future of this event through the next eight days. A dry break by Sale and a run out for Jason Shaw. Look like Naoki Oi won against Earl Strickland on table two. So difficult to keep your mindset right over the years we've seen players. You know, start out real well for three, four days and then running into a couple of losses and the other way around. Woodward last year, after a bad first opening couple of days, he, I think he won like 11 matches straight. Yeah, and he's one of those players, there's more pool he gets to play, he's going to usually get better and better. And I think it's most of the players here. Off with Alvin Ocean on table two. Ready with one win today. Rack two. Jason Shaw to break. Jason Shaw there was looking at the wreck. If it's 
dead in the middle, if it would maybe be tilted a little bit. Push out situation. In the push out, push out you do weigh in who you're up against. Is that your choice? Uh, I don't know if I would take this on. Terrible to come two rails off the bottom behind the four nine. Terrible. Or maybe clip it towards the middle of the short rail. Needs to be real thin. She didn't sell out a shot. Nor is it very easy for Shaw to resave from here. Can't play what he'd normally like a secure cue ball. He's got to play just his talent here, cutting the two onto the five. Roman the cue ball a couple rails up above the eight. Extension. Extension cool. Not the most friendly shot to shoot. like it I mean it worked for me that's really some uh, a difference between top players and aspiring players top players will risk they will gamble they will let the balls loose where often uh, a lower level player decent player will try to do a standard shot you know not na not taking too much risk but playing really something that's not there players that's that, that is part of why they're the top players. Played that nice and she can check it come straight down with the cue ball or come around the six but then it could be a little worry for the corner pocket low left it was funny she kind of shot in between i thought there i thought you'd either punch it and come really tight maybe in between the six eight like or run the ball and she kind of shot in between i thought a little bit Maybe just catching it thick is what would have made it look that way. Inside the table here. looking at Jason Shaw's backswing because now playing without the extension little less weight on the cue he'll need to do more with his cue action so maybe we're going to see a little more backswing than we're used to probably of, of all the top players with the extension Shaw is one of the most compact players out there I agree with that Jason Short wins the round. a lot of power, though, even without the long cue. Thank you. Yeah, an excellent opportunity for Seo. Her participation in this Premier League of pool. It's to play 15 matches. And I'm sure, I'm sure once she'll settle down a little bit more, come tomorrow or the day after, she'll take some scalps. Yeah, we have two ladies in the event. They're capable to win 
matches, that's for sure. Chu Chie Yu is the reigning world nine ball champion from Chinese Taipei. Should be playing on the TV table tonight against Sanjin Peglivanovic from Bosnia. Rank three. Sarah Sarah to break. Trailing two racks to nil. Looks like a head on break again. Now, I'll say it, I don't think they did their homework right. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, I actually saw that in the practice room. There for some some little piece, she was breaking from the side rail, actually, until she was informed by her partners or running mates. Break from the box. Um, uh, we see her again in another match, maybe later today or even tomorrow. Break situation, watching all the other players. Take some time to, to get that cut break down, and you never really have it down, but you know, you get it in its best situation. Playing up. Now, Shaw. To make top left. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and then play it slow. Yeah. Side rail. Nice little try. Yeah, and when a ball's precluding sometimes you tell yourself, let me get as much of it as, as possible. Or as thin as possible, rather, in this case. Probably kind of surprised himself he could catch it that thin. I think he can at least hit half ball. Three balls big. Unless he can hit it full enough. I like that. That's not I've been able to catch it full enough to really play the one up behind the three and the cue ball behind the four eight. Back the one a couple rails with the cue ball. Now open. Harder shot is this one. Don't overrun the angle. Get on the left side. And yeah, that's good enough. Ball back a little bit. A lot of options from the three to the four. Get a little more out of it. Probably going to have an angle on the four. I think the table is slower than what they're expecting. Although Jason Shaw, having played Melling in a match before this, he, he should know. That appears the bed's a little slower than what I'm used to seeing. Which I actually like. I like watching that more than a very speedy cloth. I like, you know, I like to see the players work to the move of the cue ball instead of being anxious to overhit it every time. And I think you see your be the best pool that way as well. You know, the players, when they can let their stroke out a little bit, all pocketing becomes better. I think everything becomes better. Makers, people are fooled by the fast felt.
lefty, though. He's been short a couple times. Recovery there. Jason Shaw wins the rack. He's storming Jason Shaw. 3 0 up against Sayo. Her baptism of fire in a matchroom event. Day one of the Premier League pool in right Leicester four. in the Morningside Arena. Jason, Jason Shaw, Shaw is playing his second match of tonight. the day. He beat Chris Melling before this with a scoreline of 5 4. Isn't planning to have as close a finish against Seo. Seoya from Korea. 3 0 up in the dry break. Seo here to push or to jump. I would like to jump here, actually. I don't know her jumping skills. I'm not a champion jumper, but I would still prefer that over the push out. Push out, cool. Esther here, Jason, no, just your a choice. Bit more of it. I think she gets this back, though. Little jump shot, it appears, anyways. Would you give it back? I think I would, yeah. Yeah? You don't jump? No, I do a little bit. I mean, I'm actually better at it now than I used to be you know, just because of all the great jumpers of today. Extension cool. Well, what would be your reason to give it back? Just you don't fancy it. Yeah, I don't fancy it too much position. I think you've got to get into the cue ball quite a bit to get positioned. A lot of times, sometimes you got to make a ball to play safe, and it's still the right thing to do. Players these days are not too good. Jumping the ball, it seems like you're a hair of an underdog, or at least most of the field would be. Always that, that part of it as well. You can a little bit of a yeah. ball on a miss. That. I mean, you you, all, you you need to weigh that in. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I've played competitive snooker a little bit, and I had to adjust my shot selection. So in snooker, you have an end game. Let's say you have three colors on the table, or just That's a black. Right. And I had situations where I would play safe in pool. But in, in snooker, I All learned to hand. attack more because Please start the, clock. the chances of leaving a shot. Right? Yeah, it's it's a six by twelve table, so. Right, right, it's right. Yeah, we used to have a six by twelve, and I didn't play much of it, but occasionally, back at the pool room in Houston, it'd be the same kind of thing. 
Bigger your percentages of leaving a shot are much, much slimmer. If you do, they have to make a great shot on the six by twelve. Now let's see his speed here. Just needs to get to where he is now or slightly further. That's the beauty of the little slower bed, though. You can let your stroke out on that kind of shot, let the tip position kind of kill the ball a little bit more rather than being so worried about the speed. Yeah, I like a little slower cloth and tight pockets. I mean tight pockets on the TV table, so they sure, would sure. never be overly tight. Just need to hit them clean. Now besides several months ago when I saw him switch for an event or two, was it? Uh, kind of, you could say his maiden event here. Standard League Q State. Yeah, pound this in. Playing snooker for three days. Two rails. Head to me has seemed a little slower on the stun shots. Seem to release quite as much. To get to the hill, a nine along the rail. Looks like he's spinning it. No. Center ball. Jason Shaw wins the round. 4-0. Shaw is of the second match of the day. And by the way, he'll play a third one. It's in the evening session on table one on the TV table against SVB. SVB is playing the next match also in this session against Wu Kun Lin, the bronze medalist of the recently played World Nine Ball Championships, and after that against Khalid Al Gandhi. And I don't know why, Jeremy, but when I saw the um, list of invites for the PLP for this tournament, 16 players, uh, SVB, Woodward, and Earl, I I had a good feeling. I thought, I, I, I don't know why, but I thought you guys might do well this tournament. Well, Schuyler had a nice run last year. and I think, Like I said earlier, the more full he plays throughout the week is just going to benefit him tremendously. Or Shane, I think, is still in great form. One heck of a match for him to get knocked out of that World Nine Ball Championship. So incredible fool he played all week. Played pretty well in Vegas. As break also. five. Sarah said to break. Change, Training four racks to take nil. Much, whether it be an mis extra mistake or just a little bit of a roll one way or another. Knocked out of the fence. Nine ball action on the break, but
nine ball action on the break, but 